What was once the world's biggest mobile handset maker, Nokia, has been snapped up by Microsoft. The ailing Finnish tech giant had already ditched its own bespoke mobile operating systems in favour of the Windows mobile platform in an attempt to turn its fortunes around. Now, Microsoft has bought out the entire mobile phone operation of the company. The Seattle-based firm's boss, Steve Ballmer, said Microsoft had to move more quickly from being a PC and laptop firm to one that provided mobile devices and services. Meanwhile, Google has announced the official name of the latest version of its Android mobile operating system. Following the sweet treat theme, version 4.4 will be Android KitKat, after the chocolate-covered wafer biscuit made by Nestle. The terms of the brand tie-up were unclear. Google recently announced that Android has just had its one billionth activation since its birth in 2008. The new version will be out this autumn. Meanwhile, Samsung has signed a deal to offer improved protection to its Galaxy range of Android-based phones and tablets. It'll use antivirus firm Lookout software to scan the devices of business users as part of the firm's forthcoming Knox security product. Hackers have made easy prey of Android devices. Antivirus firm Kaspersky claims recently to have found 57,000 types of Android malware this year alone. And finally, how about accessing your email in a heartbeat? with your pulse. Californian startup Bionem has revealed a wristband that recognises your electrocardiogram. Effectively, the unique elements of each person's pulse when they place their finger on the sensor. Its maker says it's as effective as fingerprint scans, but harder to fool. The bracelet then uses low-powered Bluetooth to tell a dedicated app that it is indeed you, so it can log you on. Bionem says it could be used to replace ID cards or house keys.